First of all, I just want to point out that I got this hat before Monty Dunn did, okay? And I've made mine look like a cowboy hat. I'm getting a little bit pissed off because uh, he keeps on wearing the stuff that I wear, which is a bit, a bit embarrassing, really. It happened with my uh, my wax cotton gilet. Uh, it's happened with the, the straw uh, sun hat. And it's probably going to happen with my goatee beard. But there we go. That's a rant out of the way. I wanted to... Um, did I say who I am? My name is Jake Rose. I'm a forest gardener, forest garden designer. If I didn't, that's what I am. And I am um, just wanted to do a couple of quick minutes, not moaning about Monty Don. I've got some plants for a client, and what I have just—I've got it's, it's nice, it's a lovely, lovely job. But there's lots of different plants to go out, so I've rescued some lemon balm and all sorts of stuff, and random cuttings and all bits and pieces kicking about the place, which is great. Uh, but there's a lot of ground cover to go in. So with ground cover, um, I've got some set up in beds already, and I've started putting stuff in pots for other like other clients left over from other jobs, so periwinkle and bits and pieces. Uh, and what I have done, this is uh, Geranium Macrorhizum Zarkor. It smells lovely. I love this. Uh, as you, uh, yeah, it's just a great plant. And I bought one of these from High Kier Gardens. Um, and I went there Father's Day and took one, oh, yeah, there's a six. I paid five pounds for a plant, took six root cuttings, and divided it into six, and I've got six plants. Um, so big, big old plants, which is brilliant. And I'm doing the same now. So I've got that's like a pound of plant, and I'm doing exactly the same here for the uh, this, this is for a client in Carmarthenshire. Um, and I've been to what the hell was the name? The Llanachairon, I think. It's a, uh, I think it's a, a national trust property near Aberaeron. And uh, they had brilliant herb garden, loved it. I wish they had more of the herbs which they had there, but I'll, I'll be a subject of another another live stream. So here I've got uh, uh, some fighting grandiflorum, which is creeping comfrey. I think this is I think this is a native comfrey. Not sure. Going to check actually. Native to the UK. Uh, so I love. I've been looking for that love it and i'll divide this up and i'll take root cuttings from it and i'll get probably maybe half a dozen plants out of there and same thing with his uh, pulmonaria officinalis which is not a native it's kind of grown it's kind of taken over there's one native i think one native pulmonaria 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 longifolia uh, narrow leaved uh, lungwort which is kind of native to around near Southampton, apparently. This is um, officinalis, but it's still a brilliant, yeah, it's brilliant ground cover, early spring flowering. Um, yeah, it's fantastic, kind of near native. And I've got a couple of those. And the same thing, I get five out of that one and I think six out of that one. So, and that'll be ground cover. I've got some more pulmonary up there as well. And then this is beautiful. I mean, <laughs> I did get one. Uh, this is um, a curry plant. Oh, God, how is it called? Helichrysum italicum, um, and it smells gorgeous. I love it, I absolutely love it. Uh, what you do need to do is careful pruning to stop it getting too leggy. That's a trick with these. Same, as like, treat it like a lavender. So I think, yeah, a kind of careful pruning with new growth and stuff, but look it up and look up how to prune it. Don't take my word for it. So that's my um, thing today is, yeah, buy a plant with lots of babies on it, divide it, root cuttings, and then you get loads more plants. So I'll be doing that in the next couple of days and getting them going. So I've got, there's, wow, uh, 15, 15 or so plants there, which is fantastic. And there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Cheers, bye.